Elements and Compounds A pure substance is a form of matter that has a specific composition given it definite characteristic properties that can be used to identify it. Pure substances can be elements or compounds, and compounds can be ionic or molecular. An element is made up of only one type of atom. A compound is made up of two or more different atoms that are chemically bonded together. Scientists use a tool called the periodic table to organize the elements. Gold is an element that is only made up of gold atoms. When two or more different atoms chemically bond together, the property of the substance changes. Chlorine is a poisonous gas, sodium a soft metal. Together they make sodium chloride, table salt. Ionic compounds are made up of metal and nonmetal atoms. The electrons are transferred. Atoms create ions and form strong attractions. In molecular compounds, they're made up of nonmetals and nonmetals. The electrons are shared. This forms a weak bond. The valence electrons from the metal atoms are transferred to the nonmetal atoms in ionic compounds. This creates positive and negative ions and strong bonds between the atoms. In molecular compounds, the valence electrons from the nonmetal atoms are shared, creating weak bonds. Ionic properties, they have high melting and boiling points, they're hard, they're brittle, they conduct electricity, they create crystalline structures, and they create extended structures. For molecular properties, they have low melting and boiling points. They are soft, still brittle, they are poor conductors of electricity. Some compounds are considered simple. Other compounds are considered extended structures due to their repeating patterns. Again, a pure substance is an element or a compound, and compounds can be ionic or molecular. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.